So, Apple have apparently pulled all games on the App Store that have the Confederate flag on it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Charming Man Night 3, you're British. Why would you care about something that's happening in America as deeply American and as historically American as the Confederate flag? Well, I have a few books on the American Civil War. I kind of find it a bit interesting, you know? I've played some games that are set in the Civil War or have the Civil War as part of the story. I've watched films that have the Civil War in it, you know, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Django Unchained, Gettysburg is one of my favourites. You know, I love that kind of history. I love the 1800s, regardless of country. You know, I, I am a historian. I love reading history. I love the whole thing about it and I love playing games that have history in it which is why I'm a massive fan of, of Total War. So why am I interested in this story? Well it comes immediately after uh, South Carolina dropped the, the Confederate flag from the state built capital and they could do whatever they want. If, if they want to start flying the flag as a state politically that is okay, I don't mind that. They can do whatever they want. Pers you know, I'm personally of the belief that if a southerner wants to do something like put the flag out in his his or her property, they can do that. I mean, you know, not all southerners view it as a racist thing, a racist symbol, you know. And so for some people it is, you know. For me, uh, I kind of just, you know, keep a neutral tone about that I mean for some whites it's white for some white southerners it's white pride for others it's southern pride which is different and I watched this program by Reginald D Hunter who's from Georgia and he went to a southern rock festival and there were loads of confederate flags and Le Leonard Skidded was there but it wasn't a racist place it wasn't there was no one was being prejudiced towards him it was literally just we're from the south we understand what happened back in the day, that's wrong, but we're different, we're not those people and we want to celebrate the music, we're going to play the blues, etc. Because, you know, Southern Rock is basically blues rock, isn't it, really, you know? And not all Southern Rock bands were blue, were all white either, like then Skinner, but, you know, that's, that's sidetracking. So that's one end of it, then there's the KKK side of it, who actually, funnily enough, had more members in the North than they did in the South. And also, Bosden in the 1860s had an outlaw of talking about slavery and stuff like that. So anyway, back to the matter of hand, I keep going into stuff that is kind of relevant to me, but probably not to you guys. So Apple, immediately after that, so strangely out of nowhere, pull all games that have the Confederate flag. And I assume it's because they didn't want to offend people because, you know, the Confederate flag does have this negative connotation. Yet, for some reason, all the games have Nazi memorabilia, not mem you know what I mean, Nazi symbolism and the flags and the logos, swastikas, all remained. And I'm just wondering, are you trying to censor games that have nothing to do with the racist side of the, f of the Confederate flag's history? And they're just games about the Civil War, about warfare, etc. Why are you doing that? Why are you censoring them? They've done nothing wrong. They're, they're well within their rights to use that imagery, you know? So why is it okay for developers to use the Nazi symbol but not the Confederate symbol? So, why I don't, I still can't understand why they did this. I mean, was, did someone complain? Did someone in Apple decide, oh shit, the political landscape's changing. We've got to pull all these games. We've got to stop these games from from being released. And thankfully, in, in places like Steam and Origin and other places, you can still buy those games. And that's okay, because, you, you know, I'm glad I was never a Mac user, because this would never happen if you're on a PC or an Android phone. Although I say that, and I think you know that's going to happen. But, to me, this is plain old censorship. This is telling 
developers that they cannot use this symbol, even though it's perfectly acceptable to use it in that context. It's funny all these ideologues, these censorious, illiberal, liberal type people want to get rid of context. Like, you just can't use this word in any context. You can't use this symbol in any context. It's banned. You can't use it. Or rather, it's not banned per se. It's just de facto banned. It's not de jour as yet. And that's wrong. We can't allow that. This is another encroachment upon developers being in a stranglehold of censorship by these idiots, these social justice warrior types. And, you know, come, it's, it coming from Apple, I'm not surprised, because they are the hipsterish fucking company I've ever seen. And what are hipsters, mostly? Or at least, they appear to be mostly, I can't stereotype, as I've just said to one of my subscribers. Social justice warriors. Almost all of those guys are hipsters. Not that all hipster, most hipsters are social justice warriors, we can't say that. So no wonder Apple did it. But, you know, what are your thoughts? I might do another video about this when I've got more facts. So, this has been Charming Man 93 Like and share the video, drop a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.